Within this lesson, I want to introduce you to JSON. So what is JSON? So we look at the Wikipedia definition, it's JavaScript object notation. So what this means is that this is a JavaScript formatted way of transferring data between a server and a client. So previously, you might have used XML and uh, in order to do AJAX calls, retrieve data back uh, between the browser and server uh, to communicate data back and forth. So now with JSON, this gives us actually a better way of transmitting that data and it's within that same format that JavaScript uses to create objects within JavaScript. So we're going to start out the course by introducing you to how to create objects in JavaScript and how it works into JSON and then later on we're going to be talking about how we can actually extract that JSON data and pull that information back into the browser in a useful format. So as we can see here there's some examples of JSON and we're going to be going through all of this as well throughout the course. So there's a few other resources that I want to quickly mention uh, before we begin. Uh, so there's uh, JSON Formatter and Validator. Uh, so here you can actually enter in a URL or you can enter in your JSON data and uh, once you process it, it'll check it over and make sure that it's formatted properly and if there aren't any bugs uh, within your JSON data. Uh, so these types of tools are really useful because uh, sometimes if you have a lot of JSON data, uh, it's, it's good to be able to parse through it and check it out to make sure that there are any issues with the way that you've structured it. Uh, so over here, uh, json.org, uh, so this is the main JSON site, um, and here it's going to tell you more information about JSON. Uh, it's got uses for objects and how objects work. So we see essentially that they've got a string and a value. Uh, so we've got these paired uh, values, which we're also going to be discussing in the upcoming lesson, and that goes to the point of JavaScript objects. Because when we set up JavaScript objects, uh, they're going to work in the same format where we're going to have a name and we're going to have a value attached to it. So it's going to be these objects are going to have name value pairs and then we build up our JSON structure from that point on. So we can actually build out uh, names and it can hold values as in other objects as well. So um, I am going to be showing you how to do that and how all of that works together in the upcoming lessons. So here we've got some additional diagrams, uh, additional reading and information about how uh, JSON works. Uh, so we've got our basic setup here where we've got a string and a value. Uh, so this is what a pair is. Uh, there's members. Uh, this is the difference between arrays and objects and how to format it in JavaScript. And then these are all the different data types. So we can have strings, numbers, objects, arrays, and then we can have our Boolean values and none values as well, um, just different characters. Uh, so, so this is very useful to look through in order to understand uh, the basic structure and uh, the syntax that you need to be using in order to structure your JSON. And then lastly, I've got another really cool resource over here. Uh, so this is myjson.com, and this is a place to store JSON data on the web. So if you've got a bunch of data, you're looking for a place to store it, and especially useful when I'm doing these types of tutorials, because this, um, and, and connecting it to Ajax, because this gives me the ability to store my data outside of my file, and then call that information in using Ajax into my JavaScript. Uh, so I use this quite a lot and I think it's a really great uh, service. So all you have to do here, you just create your uh, JSON uh, information, your data, paste it in here and um, simply go and create uh, the JSON file. So you save it and it gives you this URL and from this URL I can go over and I can see all of that JSON information there. And then the same thing here is I can actually access it from my Ajax call for my JavaScript and pull that information back. So these are some really good resources uh, for more learning and practicing with JSON and to get a better feel of it and make sure that you're formatted properly. Uh, so we are going to be going through all of this from scratch. Um, 
the browser that I'm going to be using is going to be Chrome. I'm going to be using Adobe Brackets as my editor. And if you are looking for an editor, uh, Brackets is open source, uh, free to download. It's a really nice uh, editor. It's got a lot of good features within it. Uh, and again, it is open source, so free to download. So if you do want to follow along with the same editor that I'm using, uh, you can check that out at Brackets.io. So I just opened up uh, Brackets.io, and as you can see, you could download it and install it on your machine. So it works on Windows as well as Macs. And then lastly, additionally, um, so just to go over all of the different resources that I'm using uh, within this course, I'm also using a ZAMP server. Uh, so all this does is this gives me the ability to get local host. Uh, so run, essentially run a server on my computer uh, so I don't have to transfer it up and down from uh, my machine onto a server. Uh, it allows my machine to run as a server. Uh, as well as run my regular machine and applications. So um, going over to localhost. So this is a fairly easy uh, install uh, ZAMP server and it's very straightforward. Uh, so this is uh, again one of those um, free applications and it's uh, really it's a really good part, uh, quick way to set up a server and uh, set up your development environment. And then lastly, in addition to all of these resources, I'm also going to be using CodePen. Uh, so CodePen.io is a website where you can go and you can type HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And you can actually get it, see it being displayed here on the right-hand side. Um, so whatever I type in here, I can see on the right hand side. So this is a really handy resource, especially um, it saves me the trouble of flipping back and forth between my editor and my local host uh, so I can see the results directly live being displayed. So this is uh, a live preview essentially of whatever code I'm typing. So that goes for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And as well, um, HTML, JavaScript, CSS and JavaScript do run within your browser. Your browser is the one that renders that out. So you don't actually need um, any server technology in order to render out uh, any one of these three uh, types of code or any or a combination of these three types of code. So your browser has everything in place in order to render this out. Uh, so if you want to, uh, you can just create an HTML file and uh, render that out within a browser. So when you open it up, it'll render out that code properly within your browser. And I'm also going to be providing links to all of these resources uh, so you can check it out for yourself uh, as we work through the course.